beautifuls and beloveds. Here we are on Resurrection Day. I hope you're having a great Easter. Uh, if you're sick, I'm so sorry. And feel our hearts beating for you. Get better, get well, and conquer your illness. Um, I am Noelle Rose Anderson. I am Kale, the Dance Warrior. And I am Raw, Real, Uncensored, bringing to you everything that's related to dance dance videos, dancing technique, exercising, and encouragement on how to live your life and dig through all the BS. So, uh, we are doing part two of Emperor's New and Old Clothes. Don't be gullible. This is part two. Uh, I was just talking about uh, the experimenting at what? God forbid. Wouldn't that be horrible? Let's hope not. For everybody's sake, not just mine. Um, Again, I, I'm not a, uh, what is it, a conspiracy theorist. I mean, really, all factual events were conspiracies before they were proven, actually. You know, the Titanic. That sounds like sabotage to me. Okay, um, so I'm going to make this quick because we are going to have a little bit of a movie night and we are going to have fun with the fam. Um, okay, so part three, don't, I mean, Roman numeral three. Don't be fooled. Ask questions. You see how I'm asking questions? There's nothing illegal or wrong with asking questions. We just want the truth. We're not accusing anybody, but we just want to know for sure. Research. We are doing so much re research. He's an expert in his field with certain things because he has medical training. We love that now. Um, and I'm asking the questions, as you can see. Uh, and again, I'm going to say, you know, not to be insensitive, if you haven't seen part one of this video and you're just tuning in, we're not saying to not listen to your doctor, we're not saying to not listen to officials, we're not trying to be callous towards anybody, we just want to find out the truth, factual truth, and know what the heck is going on. So, we are also not calling out the Trump presidency, or Trump, President Trump, or his cabinet, or anything like that. Ah. Questioning hospital practice is the next part of this. Okay, so um, President Trump said in a press conference that he saw nurses and staff running in to the hospitals, and he said it was like a really great thing to see them, like heroes, throwing on gear, right? He described it practically a movie scene. A staging, as you will. Uh, and we're not accusing, but we're just trying to, you know, figure this out here. Um, when I heard this, I said, what? And then when you said it wasn't protocol at all, you want to park it over here again and explain this? Yes. Because he is an expert. Medical training. All right, so... Go ahead, this is great. So when you go into a quarantine area, whether you be a doctor, or pharmacist, or whatever, you don't just go in there without having everything properly equipped and there's actually a specific order you have to put these items on you start from the top down first with the little cap then a mask and then I guess would be the scrubs and anything that would go over those and then you do the gloves and then you go down and there you go booties and everything right yes so our question was because we were hearing various testimonies not just president trump why are they making a scene you can't be in that much of a hurry you have staff that is there before you and they overlap so they don't have to rush okay this is not the tv show er um it shouldn't be they need to do protocol, they have to be quick, but not sloppy, and not careless. They have to be thorough. Thorough you, comes first, no matter what the case is. You just don't run in from outside. And there's, there's actually a video I heard of this. I have not seen this. People, the doctors running in, flying through the doors and suiting up. You can't do that. You have to be in a sterile quarantine place because if you get a mask, you get a mask and you do go like this, look, I just captured a whole bunch of germs from the air, right? Yeah. You have to be in a quarantine, isolation room. You, you just can't. I mean, really, think about it, people. 
So he's saying this. We've heard other testimonies. We've seen articles. And I'm like, WTF? What is going on? We have the right to ask questions because this is very contradictory. Um, so it's training. And it must be a sterile environment. There's a separate room. You just don't go running from outside, burst through the double doors, and you have aides there throwing your clothes on. We might do that as performers before we dance in the wings. But that implies that the whole hospital thing might just be some kind of a show. At least that one. Oh my god, I hope not, right? Ooh. I don't see any other hospitals that are doing that, especially not out here. Uh, yeah, so we hope. You know, we're not accusing anybody. This is not even stuff that we came up with. This is just stuff that's out there. So, you know, we put all that together. Now, the next thing is here. C, inconsistencies. That is a perfect example of an inconsistency. Now, these uh, panelists, I don't know who these people are, I've never heard of them before, I've never seen them. That one lady, Dr. Burks, keeps mentioning flu surveillance. You know, that's a very sensitive word for us right now because we are under surveillance. We're not criminals. We are performers, we're dancers. There's no reason for the government. And we ask the government, they're like, no, we're not checking you out. There's who are you guys, <laughs> you know? Um, but she keeps mentioning this word surveillance and we're thinking, is she dropping a hint? Does she have anything to do with this? Is she pushing buttons? What is going on? So we wrote <laughs> a nice professional letter, pretty much saying WTF in legalese form. And then there's this thing called contact tracing. We really hope you're not peeking in our contacts and throwing it underneath the uh, COVID-19 contact tracing. We don't have COVID-19. Get away from us, okay? <laughs> nobody in our family has COVID-19. No, nobody we know, none of our friends, nothing. So, um, you know, is this the terminology? Contact tracing, is that is that what's done? Is that what was done to my Yahoo account and our professional email account and our phones? This was way before the virus. You know, so they're saying all these key terms and I'm like, is there a conversation going on that has double meaning? You know, it's just really kind of creepy. So, you know, guys, we hope none of that's going on. We're not accusing anybody, but it's just like we're scratching our heads. Obviously, we don't understand this. Okay, now, fear. Fear is a tool used, as we can see, uh, by many to slip in laws because, oh my god, we're afraid we don't want to die. Of course, everybody should be healthily afraid, excuse me, of death and not want to die. That is what hopefully keeps us preserving life, not wanting to abort babies, uh, unless there's, you know, severe circumstance that warrants it. Uh, hopefully it makes us not want to euthanize the old or infirm just because they're getting up there or they might be sick or, you know, like a pecking order thing, Logan's Run thing. So um, I'm, I'm concerned about the Patriot Act happening again in another form because of this virus, because people are being ramped up to panic. And don't panic people, don't be afraid of this. Be wise, be smart, ask questions, do research. Get your notebooks out, listen to the press conferences, read the transcripts, do what we are doing. Be a Berean, be an intellectual, be a researcher, be a true journalist. I'm very well trained. Okay, Patriot Act. Patriot Act, very important guys. What if the Patriot Act Patriot Act allowed people to spy on me and steal my intellectual property and be able to stalk me, to terrorize me or try to terrorize me and my family. I look at the stolen key video parts one and five, right? Yeah. On our YouTube channel. Check them out because uh, we're sitting in our car and the little beeper, it goes off and we're not touching the key. And the other one was inside, locked up. My husband wasn't home from work. 
were sitting in the car and it did it twice. And it happened the two other days, so three times total, twice that night. And we have it, we caught it on video. It, I'm not kidding when I say we have video rolling to protect us a lot of the time. And that was the same night the helicopter went over in the apartment and then just like two and a half minutes later, the earthquake in Granada Hills. And, you know, it was just like, what's going on exactly? But was it the Patriot Act that allowed that? Why? We have nothing to do with anything except dancing, making movies, and they know it. Um, you know, it, it could have been an abuse of authority and power somewhere, somehow. We're getting to that. But we've reported everything because, you know, why, why me? I think I know why. It has to do with my grandfather, but yeah, we love that guy. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're putting an end to all of this nonsense. That means we get to live, we get to have restoration full restoration, monetarily, credit, everything. Everything that was stolen from us. You can't bring back my dead family, but you know, there are other ways you can help. Um, okay, so, oh, and the two suspicious car accidents, which we are looking into even further. But you know, all of this stuff, did this allow for that? So what I don't wanna have happen is another slippery slope where we have something where tech companies can tell everybody, everybody's medical whatever. Oh, this person has this virus, this person's here with the virus. Stop it. People aren't gonna wanna use your garbage phones anymore. I know we are very careful and we got the darn thing. It's a useless piece of junk, really. Well, I don't want you knowing my location. Yeah, you can turn it off. Can turn it off, really. That's really interesting. We've turned it off and still on the bottom it says, oh, this is your location and it has a zip code no matter how many times we turn it off. Mm. And we have that on video too. So I don't want that happening with this virus thing. You know, another Patriot Act. Enough with giving up our freedoms. You know, life is messy and there are things that we should be afraid of, but not, not this. We should be respectful and we should understand who the real enemy is. It may not be what you think, uh, as we have come to find out. So, and it's not Trump either. I'm getting so sick and tired of everyone saying that he's messed everything up, and yet we look at a list and we compare what he has done. No, his predecessor actually let all these people in and screwed up our country. Not my words, go look it up yourself and now we're having to undo everything. And then my life is messed up and in ruin and people are dying and our families and you know, we're getting stolen from. It's pretty heady guys. So, you know, I have a lot to say about that too. Um, okay, next part, hypothetical example. So by saying in the name of the virus or anything, let's stop them, we the people from taking away our freedom, okay? So let's say in the name of the virus, they do pass something like the Patriot Act, but for the virus, which allows people or tech companies to have way too much information than they already have. Is anybody awake? Um, I'm not gonna let them get away with it. I'm very vocal. I don't like politics. I don't like wasting my time doing this stuff. Somebody should be there doing this on our behalf, but people are asleep, so I'm having to be awake. So it's not just for me that I'm doing this. My life is already destroyed and ruined, as you can see what's been happening. Um, I'm, I'm doing this for y'all too. So, um, wait, wait, hold on, what does it say? You can't can't go anywhere. Oh yeah, 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 this whole thing about, I don't want these tech companies to start saying, well, you can't go anywhere if you have a fever. So I call BS on this because, you know, when I get my period and menstruate, I get a low grade fever. It goes away within hours. It doesn't mean I have COVID-19. People can have fevers for many different reasons. You could have lupus and have a fever. And then you're gonna start blaring out Oh, there are people here in your contact list that has this and this and this. You know what? That violates HIPAA. 
health insurance, right? Yes. For, for, what was it called? Uh, HIP protection. I, I forget what it means. Patient Protection Act. Is it? I could have butchered it. I'm so sorry, but HIPAA, right? That would violate that. Um, I'm not going to sign off for that. And if, if it's a mandatory thing with these phones, buy phone. I lived before these stupid cell phones. They're a great tool in the right hands, but in the wrong hands. And I really, I, this is my opinion, but I think these tech companies are just getting too brazen for their own good. And their heads are, well, this big. Who died and made you the Lord Jesus? Because you're not Jesus. I do not answer to you. You don't look anything like my Lord Savior, Lord and Savior. So, you know, that that's enough. So if we have to throw out our phones, or actually we probably need to keep it and just uh, separate the battery from the chassis. But yeah, guys, don't just throw out your stuff because they can access your information on these things. We're learning a lot. And I, you know, I'm just really tired of people making profiles of, oh, these are all the diseases she's had. Let's trick them into signing away their rights. They were just in an accident, so let them have them sign away their medical rights. And that's how they got a hold of it, which is illegal to do because it has to be applicable only to what they're using it for. You can't just say, oh, here's a, a, a waiver and it has the word photo waiver in it. And so you use it over here. No, you actually have to apply it only to the one time thing. And that's very illegal. They're just waiting for people to stop. Lawsuits, we're, we're suing everybody. We're so done with y'all. Um, anyway, but that is a great example. Slippery slope, guys. Be very aware of it. Do you know the different forms of argument? You know, straw man, strong arm, uh, slippery slope. There's so many different types of things. I don't deal with that. I tear all that apart and I use factual truth to bring all of that in alignment. So, you know, you, when somebody is just throwing all this garbage at you, take an article, it's actually fun to do. I had to do this in my class. Tear it apart. Say, oh, they're using straw man here. And say how and why. And then put it into a factual truth and rewrite the article how it should have been. It will look nothing like half of this BS that's going on out in the media. So check everything. We shouldn't have to. We should be able to rely on journalists, but they're not even journalists anymore. They don't even call themselves journalists. They just call themselves writers or reporters. Uh, like, something needs to be done about that. Because they're supposed to take like a doctor's Hippocratic Oath to not do harm to thy patient or make that patient worse. Um, journalists also have kind of like a Hippocratic Oath, you know, they, they have to follow or they should follow a protocol. I do but it just seems most don't, and I'm very concerned at the state of that medium. Um, okay, so a slippery slope. We went to Trader Joe's and they said on their sign, you can't go in unless you have the face covering. Okay, first of all, we heard that just fabric, they're okay even if you go like this, as long as you keep it over, right? And I'm like, well, I know what this fabric is. I know fabric well. I'm an expert in it. And I know what fabric will keep germs in and what won't. <laughs> and I'm telling you, you really have to have the right fabric. You need some kind of a HIPAA, a HIPAA filter. You need some kind. And it has to be woven in a certain amount. And I'm like, well, this is useless. So who are you protecting from what? And then, you know, this, what is the slippery slope? Let's say for an example, it goes from masks to face coverings to burkas. I have an issue with that because I'm a Christian. I don't want to wear something like that. And all of a sudden, oh, men are no longer susceptible to this virus, but women are. Do you see how that would fit in? And then here in California, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to insult anybody, but wake up people. Where are you? Christians, rise up and do what I'm doing. Jesus said, be a Berean, and the harvest is there, and it's plentiful, but people are too lazy. They just want to be fed, you know, tickling of the ears, and then they're like, okay, that's the truth. No, we are, look, we haven't even done a lot of research yet, just front and back, and we've already found issue and flaw and concern. Do we need a part three? How are we done?
We have 10 minutes left. Oh, that's fine. It's uh, 8.30 now. It's 8.30? Okay. Um, so, oh, I was going to do one more video, but we promised we it's movie night, and I want to watch a movie, and make some popcorn, and have a lot of fun with the family. Um, but guys, you know, just keep this in mind. Be thoughtful. Be smart. Be very aware of what's going on. Don't just get coddled into a false sense of security. Like this camera, this is an eavesdropping device. We know that because we used it in a place where there was just the camera. And what we said, while video recording, got out into the media. And we saw it in an article. We already tested this. You know? So... It was a refurbished device put on sale at Fry's Electronics in Burbank, right? Mm -hmm. It was a gift, supposedly. And, uh, you know, getting that 10% off was not worth it because somebody put it online prior and, you know, we didn't do it. There's evidence that we didn't do it. We have evidence that it's refurbished. But this item over here, it's a laptop. It wasn't refurbished. And this is also an accessible point. They're reading what we're typing on the screen. Oh, come on, we didn't sign up for this. There's nothing in the privacy waiver that says, oh, if you use this device, we can steal your intellectual property and eavesdrop on your conversations and eavesdrop on your typing. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Don't you guys see, hypothetically, the slippery slope we, we're living at? We didn't create it. There's unscrupulous people that just want to steal and want to make sure that we're kept under control. And, um, but, you know, we're, we're not wanting to sign up for this. And it's like, okay, where's that typewriter? We don't need this garbage. We were happier without it. And everyone's like, oh, have an electronic, have an electronic. There's smart houses. I, I'll gut that thing. If we were Bob's smart house, I'd make, I'm making a stupid house now. I don't want all these electronics listening to me, telling me how much food is in my refrigerator. Do you know, we timed it just to see, you know, it's like, wait a minute, it seems like it's taking much longer to use this technology. We actually did it where we were just turning on a light switch. You ever see Arthur 2? IOL, instant on lighting, it was a joke, it was so funny. Um, we like that. The good old fashioned, just flip a switch. It's quicker than candles, but you know, that's good technology. And uh, we were trying to turn on lights you know, in a smart home, even when we knew how to do it. It took us 10 minutes instead of half a second. And then they break, and then they don't always work, or they don't always hear you, or the buttons don't always work right, and they don't press. I mean, look at how much aggravation you have at your phones. How much have you spent repairing your phone? How much have you spent looking for the contact and it's deleted? So we said, screw this, we just put everything manual, manual, everything is manual. And we are happier getting there. We're slowly purging all this electronic stuff out of our lives and things are just so much more quicker and secure. So you gotta think, why was all of this pushed on us? Yeah, cool, oh, let's live like the Star Trek people. Oh, cool, let's live like Star Wars. And yeah, fantasy time, it's really cool. Nothing wrong with it, except if it's in the wrong hands. And uh, our stuff has been in the wrong hands, so. All right, so that's just a little bit of what we're talking about. And again, like I said, we don't want anybody to die from anything, but life is messy. Um, I have had my share of illness, so I feel you. Don't ever try to, it won't work. I'll, I'll cut you down so quickly that, uh, you know, we don't have any compassion. Oh yeah, we do. But I also don't want you brothers and sisters, brethren, to be fooled. We need to find all the wolves that are wearing sheep clothes. Turn them around, find the zipper, and take it all. That is the way you tell. They will not be true to themselves. An apple falls from an apple tree. If a grapefruit comes off of an apple tree, guess what? Something's wrong. 
So be wise, beloveds. Okay, so beautifuls and beloveds, thank you for joining us for this program. We love you. Stay safe and well and get healthy. I know people are going through, some people are really sick. I know you do know that, but let's find out from what, for reals. Is it the white dust being sprayed in the air that's making people's immune systems drop? What, what is it? We are allowed to ask these questions. We are paying them. Remember that. These products, these politicians, we are paying them. Take your control back. They don't deserve it. Because before you know it, it's going to be gone. Like I said, Patriot. Yeah, I got a lot to say about 9-11 too. Okay. Mwah. We love you. Have anything to say? No. Okay, we're done. Bye.